The Low Country Strawberry Festival at Boone Hall is just weeks away. You'll be able to experience shows, arts, crafts, and food vendors, fun on the farm, and of course, you pick strawberries. Ryan Neal is with me now to tell us all about the two exciting weekends we've got ahead. Ryan, welcome back. Good morning. It's so good to be here. It's spring. It is officially pollen and strawberry season, and it we is. are ready for it at Boone Hall. <laughs> One of those we like more than the other. Yes, <laughs> but you can't have them without each other. Exactly, Ryan. You, we were just talking about Halloween. It seems like just yesterday. Then we were talking about Christmas trees, and now we've got strawberries. So we're just going through the whole year together. You know, I think that's <laughs> One of the great things that um, that we have at Boone Hall is we have something going on all the time. Yeah. Um, and there's opportunities for families to come out and experience the farm, regardless of what the season is. So this is kind of the start of our produce season. Um, you know, we've got the market that's just reopened, um, Willie's Roadside Market, uh, which is a, a fan favorite over in Mount Pleasant all throughout the year. And you know, a lot of these events tie in to the farm and the crops, and we're really excited to kind of have some gorgeous strawberries this year and a big festival to celebrate it with. So so many people look forward to this festival all year long. Um, what can we expect this year? Uh, you know what? We've got two huge weekends. Our theme for this year is See More in 24. So uh, we've got new shows. We've got a lot of great food. We've got tons and tons of big rides, including and little rides for the kids, kids of all ages. It's a great opportunity for families to get out, spend a whole day together. And of course, we've got fields and acres and acres and acres of fresh, juicy strawberries for you pick until they're gone. And then, of course, we'll have them available for people to purchase um, at the market during the festival and after. What makes these strawberries so special? You know what? So uh, Boone Hall is is well known for being one of the farms that produces just a, a ton of different crops. Um, and one of the things that we're really lucky is that we have a great team that works with these things. They, a lot of people don't realize they go in the ground in October. Mm. And so there's a lot of TLC that goes into the strawberry crop. And so our farms team over there is constantly, you know, I don't want to say babying them, but um, they're putting a lot of work and a lot of effort goes into this. And so we're really, we're fortunate that we're able to showcase a crop like this right in the heart of Mount Pleasant. And they really put a lot of work um, into making these things incredible. And I mean, when you look at them, they're gigantic. They are. They're red and sweet. And there's really nothing that comes off of a regular shelf uh, that compares to these ones that are grown here locally. No, I'm so impressed by these. You just picked these this morning. They were picked like 45 minutes before wow. we got here. Wow, wow, they are stunning. I'm so impressed. They're like the perfect size, everything you want a strawberry to be. Yes, and you know what? They taste really, really good on top of a shortcake Ooh. or dipped in chocolate. Okay. So we're, we're excited. Um, one of our new pieces of programming this year, we've got Miss Chris's Chocolate Strawberry Factory, which is actually a demo uh, that we're doing twice daily on Saturdays, wow. um, where we're going to have uh, people are able to come and watch and get all the techniques that they're going to need to do the perfect chocolate dipped strawberry with Miss Chris, uh, Christine Saro, who's uh, the wife of our presenting sponsor, uh, Joe Saro and Starling Chevrolet. So she's going to be showcasing that. And I think we're going to have some people that are going to enjoy that opportunity to get some free chocolate covered strawberries and decorate them themselves. Oh, yeah, can't beat that. Let's talk a little bit more about the programming. Talk sure. to me about all the great people that will be presenting at the festival. So, you know, um, we are lucky. You know, I mentioned we have Starling Chevrolet on our team, and uh, this is their second year with the Strawberry Festival and a lot of events over there. And uh, that partnership allows us to bring in cool and new things every year. So, obviously, we've got our festival rides. We have a great ride provider. Um, it's a huge midway. We've got two different mm -hmm. sections, big kids little kids and everyone in between nice. but also shows and you know this year we're excited that we're showcasing uh, two brand new shows we've got the Pom Pompeo family dog show which was featured on Nickelodeon and America's Got Talent um, cool. great family show they're all rescue dogs they're performing all kinds of awesome stunts and huh. circus tricks but you know we had a chance to go see that show live at the Florida Strawberry Festival and it is everything heartwarming and everything family and community and these people they love those animals and so I think people are going to enjoy that show um, we also have the magic of Lance Gifford which is a big Vegas style illusion show with a huge huge stage. Um, it's one of the biggest shows that we've ever had at this festival and I think people are going to love that as well. Mm -hmm. What about the eating contests? Yes. <laughs> I want to hear more about that. <laughs> I think everyone's trip to the Strawberry Festival <laughs> is an eating contest, right? Because that's what you do. You get in the <laughs> gate, okay? You get your wristband, you get everything, and then you just start eating from point A to point B. Now, we do have some <laughs> organized opportunities for that. Um, so, also on Saturdays, we've got our Strawberry Pie Eating Contest. Uh, we have two different ones, one on each weekend, and we have um, one that's our traditional, which is just we line up 18 people and they go at it. And we also have um, our second weekend, which is our mini and me 
three versions. So we're going to pair a parent and a child um, or a guardian and a child together. And we're going to have teams that are competing wow. against each other. Uh, plus, you know, all kinds of other great opportunities like that. We've got our Miss Berry Princess. We've got Mr. John Deere going on on those two weekends, and all those details for all of that programming are available on the website at boonhallplantation.com. So um, if you're looking to plan out a day with us, definitely recommend checking that out. Of course, you can get tickets there as well, but um, there's so much going on. You can absolutely get there when we open and stay until we close and probably still never see everything. Mm -hmm. So this is happening for two weekends in April. Give yep. me all those details. Yeah, so a um, couple years ago, we expanded this so that we could kind of um, keep that event experience intact and then manage the popularity of the event. So we have two big weekends. Uh, it's the 5th, 6th, and 7th of April. And then our second weekend, the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And um, that Thursday, the 11th, is new for us this year. So we have our Midway Madness event going on. Mm -hmm. So for people that want to come and they want to ride, they want to eat, and they want games, but maybe they don't want to see absolutely everything else, uh -huh. Early in the week, that's a great opportunity. 25 bucks gets you in, cool. and you can get down there. You can ride all night. You can eat. You can play games. You can have a good time. So we're excited to have that opportunity as well. Yeah, and where can you get tickets for everything? Tickets online at boonhallplantation.com. Mm -hmm. um, also, definitely recommend for folks that are planning out that day and looking at tickets, check out. We've got a lot of great deals this year as well. We've got our um, can drives on Fridays, both Fridays from 10 to 3. You can get in free admission with three canned goods per person. Yeah. We also have a new one, um, our 5 after 5 promo for teachers and students. So 5 bucks will get you in the event after 5 p.m. on those Fridays. And, of course, you know, all those details and all those other opportunities, wristband information, all that stuff, and our FAQ right at boonhallplantation.com. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for being here Absolutely. today. I'm so excited. Thank you for all these strawberries, by the You're way. You're welcome. I have a <laughs> feeling these are going to go quick. Oh, definitely. Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. <laughs>